Okay, welcome to the special meeting of the council, March 12th at 6 p.m. We'll call a meeting to order and uh, the adoption. Do we have a motion to adopt the agenda? So moved. Okay. Uh, second. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll second. Okay. Any adjustments, edits? Um, well, so seeing the people in the audience and uh, people online are going to announce them. Have we participated? Number three. That's number three. Okay. Yeah, we're just adopting the agenda, and then we'll move right to public participation, and we'll close the meeting out. Okay. But before we adopt, should we give our missing counselor a few minutes to get here? Just hang in there. Pinged up soon. Yeah. No. Look. Um, let's move forward with the meeting. We can do the public participation, and uh, Councilor Kellef, uh, I'm sure, will arrive. So, all right. Any edits, changes to the agenda? No, okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yeah. Opposed? Carried. Okay, public participation. Anyone on the floor? Can we stand up or sit? Sure, stand at the podium. Okay. And, uh, I'm sure everyone in the room knows who you are, but just address yourself for the recording. Yes. Uh, Fred and Dave Rebain. Um, what, we are, what we are motivated to come here for is that uh, while we were walking, when the dog, I'm sure, when we were walking along Lions Bay Avenue, and when we went by the beach park, we thought, you know, um, for myself, I have no idea what's going on there. And uh, it, it just seems sort of a big mystery. And I know there's the enclosed meeting stuff and not enclosed, but um, if somebody was to ask me, what's, what do you expect for a like, uh, when it's all finished? I would have to say, I have no idea. I hear that there's, uh, well, let me put it this way, it seems we've got two minutes. It just seems like somebody's dreaming too big, like bigger than our, our funds. And uh, I, I think it's kind of scary with, uh, all the finances and everything that and the money that's going out and everything that um, maybe I don't mean to sound condescending, but it's almost like somebody's eyes are a little bigger than they should be. Um, and we're not building the Taj Mahal or uh, doing something nice. Um, and it would be nice to, well, I guess what I'd like to see is that go back to the drawing board on this because. I can't see a project with this scope that I understand it to be is so large. I don't think they're going to be ready for Canada Day. I, I, but I don't know. Maybe you know something. I don't know. But maybe Dave wants to. But it's only two and a half months away. And I feel like one of my concerns is that, you know, if you decide to move ahead with the project and it, you know, you begin it and it's only two and a half months to July 1st. That um, the beach park is going to be out of commission for all the residents of Lions Bay, and I mean that's the hot spot for the high spot for a lot of people during the summer. So I'm just concerned about that. Um, I thought it would have been started a long time ago. So I guess that's a real concern. And um, and the other thing that concerns me is that. You know, I've heard from the different meetings I've gone to is that the jetty is necessary to protect the park, but then um, you removed it from the grant, so it's just going to be more money. And I don't, I have no idea how much I heard, 190000 but it could be higher, it could be lower, I don't know. But it's just um, it's just concerning to me that it's we don't have the money to, to finance this. So, and then also they were gonna spend $50,000 on the um, float for people to swim to and everything. But that doesn't sound like that's included in the whole amount either. So I don't know where that money's coming from and I and we're lacking time to even get it done before July 1st, which was basically promised to the residents. So that's mainly our concerns, so. All right. Thanks for that. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good meeting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so much. Thank you.
Those things we will be certainly discussing. Okay, uh, Nora, you can stay. Uh, you'll have to mute yourself. Okay. Hey, yeah. folks. Yeah, um, thanks. Up. Thanks for uh, thanks for the time. I was curious, similar to to Deidre and and Fred's concerns. I was just curious about um, how the construction would be managed during the summer, and if the beach is going to be closed or if it's going to be limited access. I just wondered if there could be just a little bit more uh, clarity on the execution plan. Um, certainly looking forward to it and looking forward to some nice clean bathrooms. So I appreciate all the effort that's gone in. I uh, was just curious about uh, the interruption to the beach this summer. Thanks. Okay. Uh, anyone else, Maria? No. No? Can I say one more thing? It's just um, as far as public participation is gone, like, are you planning on bringing it to the community? You know, what you're planning to do and when you're planning to do it or whatever? It's like people don't know. <laughs> we are, and and uh, once council approves a message to release to the community, uh, so we put up. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. I, I, I do. I would like to say one thing. I think there was a promise to consult with the community, um, uh, and to consult with the community that I I would if, if that's your question that I I don't think has been adequately done yet. So if that was at all your question, that that would synchronize with with my observation <laughs> that that the community likely doesn't have adequate information as to what we're doing going forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just getting so close to the time. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. With that, we'll move to item number four and we'll close the meeting off, uh, subject to uh, legal and <laughs> section 91.1. Uh, 9.1K. Uh, do we have a motion to uh, adjourn the meeting? I was just wondering, was can you try to say something, Colin? Yeah, I was trying to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, can I speak, or is is that okay? Yeah, you are going to try to participate. Yeah, we have moved on without speaking on one too. Sorry, I couldn't uh, hear you. Take a break. Um, next time, please uh, try to get in. During uh, prior to closing off the meeting, but thank you. Go ahead, Carmen. Okay. Yeah. No, I I just wanted to essentially other people were sharing. Uh, my question was about the beach someone that attends the beach at least four to five nights a week with my child um i guess well said by the different participants just more clarity of information and details um i know i initially was part of that first group of 17 people that started uh expressed interest in being involved i i did sort of step back a little bit but I do recall we were really pushing to sort of open the ground up, if I recall, in January. And again, we're now March and knowing how construction and development works, things like that. I mean, frankly, I mean, I, I don't see how you're going to do anything before J July 1st, regardless of what commitments are made. And again, keeping the public, I guess, more more involved and in the loop or participation, consultation really should be done because for i mean from the people here that i mean the people that have spoken i mean i'm the most active user of the beach out of everybody on this call right now and i'm just saying that if it could stay open throughout the summer that would be a smart move i believe on council's decision and you know moving something back i mean you're, you're not going to hit a july 1st deadline with the construction and what needs to be done so that's uh my sentiment and i just wanted to voice my opinion thank you any comments from the councillors? I think we'll be addressing all these concerns in, in, in the meeting this evening, and hopefully we can share as much information okay. as possible going forward. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will add, uh, Carmen, Norm, and uh, Deidre and Fred, uh, that there has been numerous attempts to publish updates about the village uh, beach park, and unfortunately, council hasn't been able to agree on a message so there has been no message go out because uh, there's been at least a half a dozen updates that have been written up. But as I say, council cannot agree on releasing those messages. 
So any other comments, yeah. Councilor Ryder? Yeah, one comment. I am not aware of any piece that has ever come before council as to updating residents on the Lions Bay Beach Park project that has uh, not been agreed to or even discussed at council. So uh, I I I have no notion of what you're referring to there. That's oh, I'll just keep it at that. Councilor Broughton, have you put together messages to the community? I have put together messages. And where have those messages ended up? They have not. They have they come to Michael Lapidus? Have they come to council? Was council said no? They have come. They have gone as far as the. Uh, have state. they come to council and have we said no? It's my one. Have you distributed them to, distribute to the council? Yes. Yes, you have distributed them and they have not been approved to go out. Okay. So that's once again, the uh, council has a difficult time agreeing on things. So that's unfortunate for the community. Okay, with that, we're going to move into the close and that's subject to legal and then section 9.1. We have one more candidate here. Could I, could I just add something? This is Carmen yes. again. Okay. Um, so as a, an outsider, when you say that council's not a, agreeing, the question from me would be, what seems to be the stumbling block? It, because uh, this would this seemed pretty clear from the from the word go what the agenda was, what the proposal was, how the how the grant was going to work. I'm not quite sure uh, from an outsider. Like, what really is the holdup? Is it we just agree to disagree on certain topics? Um, and again, not involving the public. I mean, that might help you as a group come together and actually make a decision to move things forward. So again, I'm only just giving you a, a third party perspective, but again, I, I would I was gladly in the starting uh, wanting to help. And then it felt like, you know, there was a lot of people that initially wanted to take ownership and then sort of their, the wind was taken out of their sails and they just didn't want to follow through. I don't know. But then communication is probably the biggest thing I, I think that I'm taking away from hearing what's going on. And if there's communication breakdown in council, it's really finding, you know, what are we not agreeing on? Is it the, the topics at hand? Is it the money that's being allocated? How it's being allocated? What are those questions? I think that's what the public would appreciate knowing because then we might be able to give you some feedback to help you find some resolution. So Thank I'll you. leave it at that. Thank you. Uh, Jen? Jen, if you'll unmute, and Jen, you'll be the last uh, that we'll hear from, then we'll move on into close. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. We've got 45 minutes tonight. Yes. Okay, Ken, this is actually, sorry, that's a typo. It's Penny. It's not Jen. It's Pen. So um, I, I would, um, I'm sorry, I had audio problems. So I couldn't hear the first part of this meeting. I just managed to get in while Carmen was speaking. And like Carmen, I was one of the people that stood on that beach with snow on the ground around December 6, 2022. Uh, one of my concerns is not that there hasn't been communication, but there hasn't been clear communication about the numbers on this project. What we've managed to glean, Michael Broughton put a report in not so long ago, and based on the numbers we're seeing, the jetty being taken out of the project in itself, that is an overrun on their budget of what I believe at the beginning was about a million something dollars. Um, so we know that the, the jetty is going to be 100,000, 100% taxpayer funded. We know from what I can see in Michael report initially when I was involved a year ago or more before the committee was formed and just the working groups were involved. I think the playscape budget was around what what 75 and then it went to 150 and based on Michael's report such as it was it was at 225. I mean we're seeing costs burgeon and balloon and just go in all kinds of places that they necessarily shouldn't be going. Um, this is a sort of a prime example of a project that seems to be overrunning a budget. And as a taxpayer, and um, as Carmen says and Fred says, I think we need to know what it's going to cost us. Because um, this is beginning to be kind of deja vu as to what happened with a whole a number of years back. The budget just went over and over um, what it was supposed to be. And no work had started yet. And I think that's where we're at here. So given that we're all asking, please delay this until after the summer so we can at least use the beach, there's time to go and have a look at where this budget is going and why they are, why the costs are so high. And I don't actually buy into the excuse that costs have escalated. I mean, this grant was approved not even two years ago. Um, 
essentially. And um, the real cost increases, as we all know, for those of us who've been involved, um, the real cost increases happened between 2020 and 2022 when COVID hit the planet. That's when we had all those cost increases. And since 2022, I don't really think we've seen uh, the cost increases that justify this ballooning budget. As Can someone you wrap up, please? Could you please wrap up? Yes, Ken, I don't think this is about communication in general to the community about what's going on. I think what we need is some accurate numbers on where the budget is. I, for one, would like to know. And that's what I'm hoping council will do tonight is to actually have a look at the budget. I don't know what you're meeting about, but I would hope that somewhere in there you're looking at containing this budget to what the community originally agreed to. Okay, thank you very much, Penny. Okay, uh, if you'll close it off. Close the questions off. Okay, we'll move right into uh, the closed portion, subject to legal, and that's section 90.1, uh, 90.1K. Do we have a motion to move into close? Moved. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Yes, please. Opposed? Carry. Okay, welcome back uh, to the March 12th meeting, closed portion of the meeting. Uh, we're opening it up and reporting out to the council as the following to report, council has identified a successful bidder on the beach park project uh, that staff will begin negotiations. And thank you very much. Uh, and move to move to close the meeting. We want to move to public. Oh, no. uh, we don't have that on the agenda. So we'll move to close the meeting. Motion to close the meeting. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yeah. Oh, carried. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not seeing to that. 